since we're a bit short on time, we'll just do the, the task run now. So, this is the map Sunset Overdrive. About two years ago, I finished what was at the time the hardest 128 cubed full speed map. Uh, this is a harder one. It was built last year by Rox. The task right here is 13 minutes. The world record is over an hour. Nobody has gotten even close to one shot on this map. I think only two people have finished. Uh, and now there's a task of it made by Glitched. So um, yeah, let's take a look at it. 128 cubed, yeah. So what that means is that the stadium is, instead of being 32 by 32 blocks, it is 128 blocks wide and uh, tall in volume. So you can see here we're up in the sky floating and this is the map itself. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at it. I might want to try to beat this at some point. Uh, but yeah, keep in mind, like, it's... If you think about Deep Fear, it's even harder. It's just... Transitions that are very precise, like this one on the sculpture. You can also see the inputs here, the, the tasks are quite, quite inhuman at the top. But, I'm not gonna try it. It would be like a full day product again. Because there's, um, I think there's about one and a half minute between each checkpoint. You can see he's been driving for 45 seconds without reaching a checkpoint already. And if you fail one of these transitions, there's the first one, 50 seconds. If you fail one transition, you're kind of out of it. So uh, that is the problem. So you just gotta get all the jumps. Now, this map looks even more difficult because he's playing on such low render distance. If you play on full render distance, you will have very low FPS still. But, uh, dude, I don't know. It's like I have improved a lot of full speed. So this is the next step if you want to really prove it to yourself is try to finish this. But it's hard to get the difficulty of this map just from looking at it. But if, if you just like take one section here, if you take this one section in slow motion and just look at every jump, you'll kind of start to see it. Um, okay, that's very slow. Just here, right? So you have to go on this block. Now transition on this. Then go low to hit the sculpture to hit this. It's kind of like every transition is some uh, jump you have to aim. And if there's like 300 jumps on this map, that's, that's pretty tough. Here there's one. Onto the dirt again. You want to control the bounce. Onto the castle. Control the bounce. It's just, yeah, it moves very fast. Up the statue. And there are some massive speed checks. Some weird jumps and some massive speed checks. So to finish it, you, you have to master everything. Like, if you lose... So like that jump, right? This is the TAS. And look how close the TAS is to not making the jump. It's... If you do... Well, about that much of an error, this guy you will not have the speed to, uh, to make that jump. And that's a theme throughout is uh, really fast driving to keep the speed. This guy's Sigma is fucked, dude. Pog pinching hand. Yes. So I think we could try this at some point. It would it would likely take me on my first one some um, 15 hours, I think. Maybe more. Because <laughs> it's, it's figuring out where to go and then it's actually doing it. Which is this the problem. Is, dude. It's like the one hour record right now by don't care is is crazy. But it's just uh, really, really smooth from the task though. And for these types of maps, it's very interesting when you make a, a tool assisted run. Because there's a limit to how much you can really gain. Because um, if you go very fast, you also jump further. And so you have more air time and you carry less speed. So that kind of balances out across the map. It's like, you can start out pretty far ahead, but then um, here, for example, if you jump too far, you, you get caught up to buy normal way. So what the task tries to do is speed slide these skids to gain speed, and then reduce air time with like various bumps and bounces. The car looks like it's gonna uh, destabilize, like, tilting the car back and forth, but
But if you do speed slides and reduce air time, you get really fast records in full speed. And honestly, it doesn't look too hard, right? Looks pretty, pretty chill. Just transitioning back and forth, but... That's the, the beauty and the most frustrating thing about Trackmania. It's just how easy it looks, but how difficult it really is. This guy's Sigma is... I haven't really yet seen anything that's like... Stupidly inhuman though. It's been a pretty fair task so far. This is weird. I'm not sure if humans drive that line because he landed on the flat. Oh. That was also insane. They uh, took the ram to start a speed slide here. No human player would ever drive on this. But if you do, you can start a slide as you go over it. They just cause you to bug though. So they're, they're pretty rude. Rude blocks. But we're going at 800 speed. And I think that will continue. Oh, they have to... No, that's perfect. Oh, that's... The, dude. The, the, the amount of speed they gain fuck, with, like, the, the tasks now and speed slides is mental. Because there was a guy who wrote... Uh, a code that can perfectly speed slide anywhere. This guy Sigma is fucked, dude. Uh, Holy moly, the goose is truly loose here. Wait a second, I think I have it. I don't know who made it. Oh, leaks. Um, one sec. <laughs> We're good, chat. Uh, there's a there's a thing. Where is it? Where is the thing? It's a GitHub. I used it in a video. That's not released yet. Did I send? Oh, did I send it? Yo. Wait, I think I can find it, sorry. Huge sidetrack here, but I want to find this for you guys. It's a very, like, technical explanation of speed slides. I don't think I have it. No, I just straight up don't. Uh, well, whatever. We'll put it on the screen. What you need to know is that it works. But they have a program now that can accurately calculate the exact speed slide angle, which is something we humans only estimate based on uh, speed and skid mark width. So the task is just doing it perfectly. And uh, the, the pace is ridiculous. Straight up just bonkers. It is not fair. But even with that speed, it's kind of struggling. Can you link the repository? I don't know what it is uh, to tell. I tried to find it in my DMs, but I failed. Yes, Auris! Okay, huge! All right, look at this. Um, look at this, look at this. Here, wait. Okay, I don't think this is the exact thing, but there's a page about speed slides, which like explains speed slides. It's almost that one. Uh, yeah, complicated stuff. But that's one of the things that, like, makes making a run like this a bit easier. Because it just does it kind of for you. This is a wicked part of the map. Here you need to build up so much speed beforehand to do an insane backflip across the map. That's one of the only jumps I actually remember on the map. And then you have to respawn. And that, for humans, is a massive speed check. So if I try to play this, that might take me a while. Force respawn, bad mapper? No, 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 no. It's a really good map. Speed slide right up! Oh, you guys are clutch, chat. You guys are clutch. This is just what I wanted to show real quick. Speed slide's not a bug, rather an oversight. Above 401 kilometers an hour? Um... Yeah. 
So there's a sliding factor. Th this is speed slide equation. Um, and you can see here. Well, I, uh, complicated. Papo G. This guy's Sigma is fucked, dude. Papo G chat. But, uh, Glitch Run is still going. We are, uh, on pace for, I believe, a 13-17-87 here with a perfect ending. But in, in all seriousness, finishing this in just an hour is crazy. I wonder if, um, if Mura might try this at some point. After TMGL. Because Mura almost got sub on Deep Fear. Got to run with just one respawn. But then he stopped. But maybe this could be a fun project for him too. Don't speed slide here. The tax side on the task still did a speed slide. That's baller. That is a baller move. Breaking the rules. Yeah. What the hell? He's a rebel. Speed slides down, speed slide again. This guy's Sigma is fucked, dude. Another speed slide. And uh, it basically just continues like this. Until the finish. So if you guys want to see me try this, I mean, okay, this part looks absurd. What the hell? We could maybe try at some point. I'm scared though. I'm actually scared. That this entire segment is just ridiculous. <laughs> this is so stupid. And you only get a ring here? Where's the checkpoint? Where's the checkpoint, Mr. Mapper? Because you've gone for so long here without anything. It's still going. Okay, there. My god, that is a difficult one. And I also remember near the end, uh, we're running out of time here now. But near the end, there's a massive jump to the finish. That's also one this distinct detail. Talk, and that ending Loves jump, be I believe, here. is what the way, took Don't Care so long. Had an hidden backwards route, I made a proper back and forwards yeah, here. some weeks ago. You may have a look at it when you have time. People shite even made it to the 900 speed up the statue. Seems to like it. XDD. So here, 900 speed up the statue at the end. And just look at how close it is, even with, well, TAS level of speed. This guy is sick. Look at just the landing. It, it, okay, it made it by a long shot. But Don't Care, for example, this guy is barely made it. Dude. And I think that is the uh, expectation, too. And then you go through the start block and uh, up to the finish. That's the map. If you can survive the zigzag. You have to carry the speed all the way up to the top of the hill. And then... Uh, finish. 13 minutes and 17 seconds. I'll see you in two weeks when I do 18 hours on this, if not more. Sunset Overdrive, insane map built by rocks. Tasked by Glitched. Very well done.